Hello there. Today, the director of AIMS told everyone that the peak of the coronavirus in India could be a couple of months away. But frankly, today, people weren't really thinking that much about the coronavirus, but about gas leaks. There was a gas leak at a paper plant in Chhattisgarh, but more seriously, in an incident that reminded everybody of the Bhopal gas tragedy, there was a major gas leak at a plant in Vishakhapatnam. A number of people are dead, hundreds have been hospitalized. Let's quickly take you through all the latest stories at this hour. Ten persons have reportedly been killed and over a thousand have fallen sick after a major chemical gas leakage at LG Polymers Industry in Vishakhapatnam, officials said. More than 200 have been hospitalized after the incident. The incident happened at around 3 a.m. at LG Polymers Limited at Gopalapatnam when people in nearby colonies were fast asleep. The leak has reportedly affected at least 20 villages in an area of 3 kilometers around the plant. The Prime Minister has called an emergency meet of NDMA after the incident. People were found unconscious in lanes, ditches and near houses before being taken to a hospital after a gas leak from the LG polymer plant in Vizag. The children and elderly were most affected. At least 20 persons have been kept on ventilators in hospitals, while 250 people remain admitted. The air was thick and pungent in the 5-kilometer radius of the plant, and people complained of burning eyes and breathlessness. A large number of animals, including pet dogs, livestock and birds, have also died. Civil rights activists in Vishakhapatnam are demanding action against the management of LG polymers after a gas leak left 11 dead and over 300 hospitalized. Activists are asking how the plant was allowed to reopen before local officials of the AP Pollution Control and local factories inspector did an inspection and gave approval. In a letter to CM Jagan Mohan Reddy, they said, the unit being a highly polluted one and close to residential areas, the state PCB should not have allowed factory to expand operations. Activists have demanded immediate action for criminal negligence by officials and factory management for putting lives of many at risk. The All India Institute of Medical Sciences Director Randeep Guleria, who is also part of Centre's COVID-19 Task Force, has said that the coronavirus outbreak in India will be at its peak in June-July. Modeling data के हिसाब से ये है कि जैसे-जैसे cases बढ़ रहे हैं, उसके हिसाब से ये likely है कि जो हमारी peak है, वो June-July में आ सकती है. Facing flak over cancellation of trains for migrants, Karnataka government has done a U-turn and decided to restart the trains for migrant workers from Friday. Report said Chief Minister B.S. Yadurappa on Thursday morning took the decision amid outrage by political opposition and workers' organizations. The nodal officer for interstate travel has now written to the railway seeking a total of 13 trains to various states from May 8 to May 15. The Hindu had earlier reported that an internal assessment by the Home Department had noted the labor unrest may go out of hand if trains are not restarted. The decision to cancel trains after a meeting with top builders of the city was also seen as bad optics for the government. A shocker from Mumbai. A video posted on Twitter by BJP MLA Nitesh Rane shows coronavirus patients in a hospital ward lying next to corpses wrapped in body bags. This horrifying clip is from Sion Hospital, which is run by the city's municipal corporation. At least seven bodies are seen in the ward as patients are being treated in adjoining beds. Some patients have family members attending to them, apparently ignoring bodies right behind them. 
China on Thursday said the biolab in Wuhan, which is in the eye of the storm in wake of the coronavirus pandemic, is a Sino-French cooperation project with its staff trained in France. Accusing U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo of fabricating lies over the involvement of the virology lab in Wuhan, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Hua Chunying said, the China-French government cooperation project followed international standards in its design, construction and management. She said the first batch of staff were trained at French labs and its equipment is tested every year by internationally recognized third parties. Mahendra Singh Dhoni, while citing his own example of the pressure and fear that he goes through when he is out on the crease, said that a mental conditioning coach is very important for any sports team. The former India skipper said that even if it is a small problem, a lot of times sportspersons cannot say it to their coaches. Highlighting the importance of a mental conditioning coach, Mahi further said that if the coach is constantly with the players, he can understand what are the areas which are affecting a player's sport, which can help the player in improving his game.